This tutorial provides a first overview of Rail Modeler Pro. The drawing canvas is at the center of every layout document. This is where you create your layouts. The toolbar at the top provides quick access to the app's most frequently used features and tools. In the Smart Insert pop-up, you can find tools that assist you when inserting tracks. These assistants position one or more tracks in relation to existing tracks within the layout. This functionality simplifies tasks such as initiating a new section of tracks parallel to existing ones or closing gaps using sectional tracks or appropriately sized flex tracks. Elements in the layout can be edited using various tools. Hovering the mouse cursor over a tool reveals the name of the tool and the keyboard shortcut to quickly switch to the tool. Each type of layer provides its own specific set of tools. The Shape pop-up menu can be used to insert simple graphical shapes or text into the layout. The zoom control in the document window's toolbar allows you to quickly adjust the zoom level to better view and interact with the content in the canvas as needed. The display mode can be switched using the layout controls. The top view shows all elements from above. The top and side view shows the track elements from the side as well to better visualize the different track heights. The 3D mode renders all track elements in a three-dimensional view while hiding all other types of elements. The Part List provides an overview of all tracks and other library elements currently used in the layout. The Search feature can be used to locate elements across the entire catalog of track libraries or in the current layout document. It searches for matching elements by name, product number, or description. The Library Catalog on the left of the document window provides quick access to all libraries that are included in the application. You can pick a specific track library by choosing the model scale, for example, N, and the category, for example, Tracks. The quick filter at the top of the list of track elements allows you to quickly filter track libraries to show only specific kinds of track elements to easily locate the type of track currently needed. For example, to show only turnouts or straight tracks. A click in a filter turns it on to show only the selected types of elements. A second click in the active filter turns it off again. The search box at the bottom of the library catalog can be used to quickly search for a particular element in the active library by its name, product number, or description text. Now that you've selected a track library, you can start adding tracks to the layout. Simply drag elements from the library catalog to the drawing canvas with the mouse to insert them. You can also directly append the currently selected track in the library catalog to any unconnected joint of a track in the layout using the Edit tool by clicking on the free joint. The Repeat function can be used to repeatedly append the most recently added track in order to quickly create track sections made of similar track elements. The sidebar at the right-hand side of the document contains inspectors providing general information and quick access to specific properties. It can be switched between two modes, Element and Document. In Element mode, properties like the position or color of the selected elements can be edited. The Info section displays general information for the selection like dimensions, track lengths, or other details. The Layer list allows you to organize layout content into separate layers Control the visibility of layers and lock layers to protect them from modifications. Reorder layers via drag and drop in the layer list to adjust the display order. Elements in lower layers are drawn first, appearing behind content in upper layers. In document mode, the sidebar displays general document properties like the author or a description. The width and height of the drawing canvas can be set to the desired values. 
The drawing canvas can also resize automatically when required. In the Canvas tab of the Preferences, you can choose between two canvas size modes. In Auto Resizing mode, the canvas will automatically resize to fit any new content you add. In Fixed mode, where the canvas size is locked to the dimensions set in the document properties, any edit action exceeding that fixed size will be rejected with a feedback message. In addition, you can always use the Size Layout to Fit Contents menu command in the File menu, which will resize the drawing canvas to fit the current content. In the sidebar, you can configure additional display settings for the layout, such as the grid spacing, the drawing style of the tracks, and settings for labeling elements. Less frequently used options are also available in the View menu. At the bottom of the document window, you'll find the status bar. This area displays feedback, instructions, and other helpful information as you work within the application. For quick access to any additional information, the Help menu provides a search field that allows you to quickly look up details in the Rail Modeler Pro User Guide. Just enter relevant keywords and the search will pull up the corresponding documentation, giving you a convenient way to find what you need.